Okay, I fed my dogs. I'm back. I had it. I had um, a few more things I wanted to talk about. Um, I have stopped um, calling my spiritual journey the Twin Flame journey, and the reason why I've done that is because it really has nothing to do with the other person whatsoever. It really, um, they were just the catalyst to get this started, you know. And so a lot of times. Um, People want to like try to categorize and they want to try to label and they want to try to figure things out. I know I did. And I went through like a whole period of time where I was, you know, calling my other self um, a narcissist and all these things. And the information, you know, just because that's how it looks <laughs> in the physical realm. Um, but, you know, I almost, my, my ego almost needed to believe that because sometimes your soul will use your ego um, to, it needs to understand things. It needs to under, it needs to believe certain things in order to move out of the energy that it's in. And so when I started realizing that the soul will use the ego, you know, even when I would make like that dip into like lower energies, it still was being guided. You know, even when I would go against my spiritual, um, guidance, my inner guidance, um, and go and do something that I knew I shouldn't have that would put me in lower energies. It still brought me, when I get to the other side of it, I still would level up to like a new level of um, enlightenment. A new level of, and it seems like the, the less I would want to go and seek information, the more I just knew things. It was like this strange phenomenon. The more I stopped trying to find answers and trying to um, see things and know things and have that false illusion of control, the more I stopped doing that, the more I had this inner sense of knowing anyway. That was the paradox about it. Um, and then I knew, and then that gave me more faith. Um, but... I went through this whole period where I was like, you know, he's just a narcissist. He's just this, he's that. Because my ego needed to believe that to be able to move on from the physical form, from the physical illusions. Um, and I know that now. Um, because my spiritual guidance was that, um, okay, if nobody is their, follow me for a minute. If nobody is their mind, if nobody is their conditioning, that they've taken on in this lifetime, but we're our souls first and foremost, then those behaviors are not who that person really is as a soul anyway. And that was such an epiphany for me because I'm like, you know, I'll like research and narcissism. <laughs> like, yes, yes. That's it. Yes. Yes. I mean, I was on that shit. <laughs> and my ego was satisfied. Like, look, I need to leave this motherfucker alone. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Out of here. No. But, you know, that's what I needed at the time. You see how the soul uses the ego? And then, you know, I'm like all like bummed out. I'm like, damn, you know, here I am thinking, you know, I'm on this spiritual journey <laughs> and I'm just a victim of narcissism. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, I literally was in that energy until, like I said, I meditated. I meditate and things come to me. And I was just, just like all the conditioning that I have taken on, all of it. That is not who I am. <laughs> Those are all the 3D illusions. Um, those are patterns that I have been stuck in, you know. And then when I actually kind of looked at the part my energy played in everything, energetically, um, the part that my energy played, it was real interesting because I was able to go, ah, I see it now. I see, I see it now. And not just that, but, you know, your other self is um, your subconscious. It's your shadow side. And so I had to really look at the ways that, you know, I can be narcissistic too. <laughs> you know, it was that whole mirror thing, you know, like, yeah, you know, I, and really I used to be more narcissistic than what I am now, <laughs> but I've cleared a lot of that shit out. 
you know, just over, like I said, like the past three years. And so, um, you know, those are parts of yourself, you know, your other self shows you the parts of yourself that you have denied. And so, um, even when, even when I was like really into this narcissism thing, <laughs> you see my history on the internet, man, I was all over this shit. I, I got to the point where I told myself, you know what? Fuck it. You know, it is what it is. And you know what? I know I want no more to do with any of that. Like, I don't want any more to do with any of that. Whatever we have had in the past, I want no more of that shit. No more of it. I do know he was the catalyst for my spiritual awakening. And that's good enough for me. And how will I truly know um, that, you know, we are connected by the soul and it wasn't just some shit he told me like he told everybody else <laughs> time will tell that's the only way okay so do i want the shitty relationship that we've been having trying to get back to how it was in the beginning when it was like so amazing and it's never been that way before. It's been like chasing a high or would I rather walk away, focus on myself, focus on my own soul alignment. And you know, if it's meant to be, time will tell. <laughs> time will tell. I know time's been a trigger for me because I've been like, you know, I'll be 50 this year. Like I'm not getting any younger. So time has been a real trigger for me, like on this journey, but, um, I was made to understand once again, that there's no time. There's only energy, you know, like, you know, I was like, well, you know, year, two years from now, you know, if it's meant to be, and my inner guidance was, is that how long you want it to take? It's energy. Like you literally can shift into the energy you need to be in. Like, overnight <laughs> the key is like staying there and balancing it and really grounding it into your physical reality and not um, going through those highs and lows anymore because once your triggers stop affecting you you can stay balanced and how do you stay balanced you stay balanced by staying focused on the here and now and not even worrying about the future and besides when you're worried about whether or not you're going to be with somebody or not you're coming from a place of lack that you don't have them. And so the universe is going to match that energy. So what are you going to have more of? Not being with the person that you want to be with. The perfect energy to be in is to work on yourself. Um, really go within. Really work on um, the inner soul alignment. And get to the point where you just don't give a damn one way or another. Because you know that you're whole and complete on your own. And that there is no separation anyway. There is no separation. That's where I'm at right now. There isn't any. So anytime I start to focus on like the physical shit, I tell myself that is seeing separation that, you know, they're like two beings instead of one. And so what do you get more of when you focus on two beings instead of one? Two beings instead of one. <laughs> So anytime I start to kind of get wonky and start focusing on the physical shit again, I'm like, no, mm -mm. that is my fear-based energy. That is my ego. That is my mind trying to keep me stuck in the illusion of separation because the ego doesn't want you to be happy. The ego does not want you to make this shift into your soul energy, this soul alignment, because it means death for the ego. And once you realize that and you really start to monitor anything that comes up that's contrary to soul alignment, you're able to like really look at it and really see it for what it is. And like I said in the last video, my fears were coming in the back door. Tell me, you, you know, you feel you feel too good right now. You feel too good right now. Something's going to trigger you. Something's going to trigger you. And sure enough, it would trigger me. You have to quiet that voice. You have to tell it, look, I don't believe you. You're not real anyway. 
And once you do that and you stop believing the lies that your mind, which is your ego, is telling you, um, you can have more peace because you are more accepting of what is happening in the current moment and that is the perfect energy you need to be in of knowing that you're not lacking anything. So um, I have made some profound um, advancements as far as um, my level of consciousness and the level of consciousness is the mind. Um, <clears throat> But the mind sometimes, sometimes the mind needs answers or it'll drive you crazy. So sometimes um, I will even throw like a little tidbit out there. <laughs> I'll like just try to satisfy it. Sometimes I'll be like, look, you know, as long as you are, you know, focused on this shit, you know, it's never going to happen, right? And sometimes that'll do the trick. <laughs> I, play, I, I mean, you know, this is where I'm at right now. Eventually, I would like to not be able to even do that, you know. But just like, you know, like with the whole narcissism thing, man, I was like so stuck. I was like, oh, my God. I was so stuck in the fear of loss. I was like, wow, <laughs> this is so terrible. What am I going to do? And every day was like a struggle. It was like fighting this addiction like wanting to run back to it. And just because I kind of was able to um, look at him in a different way for a while, like take him down off that pedestal and really look at him as like the man he was or he is that, you know, he's imperfect and, you know, he's got his flaws and just being able to accept him and love him just like he is, but just know that I don't want any more of that shit because I got healthy boundaries in place. And like I said, if it's meant to be after I balance myself out or whatever, then, you know, it is what it is. If not, then I'll know one way or another. That's the only way I'm going to know. So this is where I'm at. I hope it helped, you know, some people. <laughs>